Hello all. My name is Shraddha Tony, Assistant Professor, Computer Engineering Department. In this video, we are going to see Windows 2 viewport transformations. So means what? How actually the world coordinate system will get transformed into the viewport coordinate systems. So the process of transformation of 2D world coordinate scene into a device coordinate system that we will see first. Physical description of object goes through the multiple scenes or multiple sequence. So actually window to the viewport transformation is necessary because the size of window and the viewport may not be the same all the time. So actual scene selected by window needs to be rescaled to fit it in the viewport. So suppose let x w minimum and y w minimum and x max x w max and y w max represent the lower left and the upper top corner points of clipping window respectively and let x v minimum y v minimum and x v max y v max these represent the lower left and upper top corner points of the viewport okay so as shown in this figure point x w y w in the window is to be mapped to point x v y v in the viewport so to maintain the same relative placement in the viewport as in the window we have to normalize both point so first of all these world coordinate system will be mapped into the device coordinate system so procedure to scale down world coordinate into viewport coordinates that includes first of all translation in the translation phase it translate the windows to the origin first of all by x minus x w minimum minus y w minimum so as, as shown in the figure we have to translate the window to the origin along with the object so the output of this will be the next figure this is the translated window along with the object to the origin. So this is the translation matrix that we have to use for translation purpose. Next is the scaling. We have to scale as once the translation done, after that we have to scale that object with SX and SY. For that purpose, we have to use the matrix SX 0 0 0 SY 0 0 0 1. This, scale, this is the scaling matrix. Sx and X, Sy, these are the scaling factors. And after scaling, again we have to translate it to the viewport by Xv minimum and Yv minimum. So these are the uh, sequence that is translation, scaling and again translate to the original viewport. So the scaling matrix that, uh, sorry, the translation matrix we have to use here is this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, Xv minimum, Yv minimum and 1. So, xv minimum, yv minimum, these are the viewports coordinates. So, window to viewport transformation requires these steps. First of all, the original world coordinate system get translated by using this translation matrix. After that, we have to scale it down according to the viewport. So, scaling matrix is used for this purpose and again after scaling, we have to again translate to the viewport. So this matrix is used for the again translation of viewport transformation. So the composite matrix for window to viewport transformation is computed by using multiplication. So actually every time we can't uh, follow this whole procedure. This is the time consuming procedure. So that's why here composite matrix we have calculated by using only one matrix. So this will be the result of the um, uh, composite matrix. So you can, if you have to translate your world coordinate uh, into the viewport coordinate. So by using only one matrix, you can translate it. So how we will get this matrix? So by multiplying all these matrix, translation matrix, scaling matrix, and again, translation matrix. So SX and SY is the relationship between window and the viewport here. So the formula for Sx we have used here, Xv minimum minus Xv minimum, then Xw max minus Xw minimum. 
So these are the x v max and x w max and x w mean. These are the world coordinate window coordinate, and this is the viewport coordinate. Similarly for s y s y gives y v max minus y v mean divided by y w max minus y w mean. So we can't use any scaling factor. We have to proportionally scale it down. So by multiplying all these, we will get one matrix. And this is called the composite matrix, which we can use for window to viewport transformation. So all this about how we can translate the window to the viewport. Thank you.